Four rifles have become the first unit to receive the full complement of cutting-edge equipment usually only available to frontline troops. It includes uniforms and the latest camouflage and a new rifle sight, night vision devices and even a folding periscope. James Banks reports from the training ranges of Salisbury Plain. Nine five-second exposures of 400 metres. Watch and shoot. The Warminster-based battalion were chosen as the first recipients of the new equipment due to their upcoming commitment as the spearhead lead element. This role will see four rifles taking over the job as the UK Armed Forces High Readiness Force. But as well as being the first UK-based troops to wear the new MTP combats, they have also been issued with the latest rifle sights, laser rangefinders and night vision equipment. Uh, the new LDS uh, lightweight day sight is uh, it's a, it's a great deal better. Um, it affords a, a times four uh, magnification and it's accurate up to 800 metres. Um, it's also got a, a CQB sight fitted on the top, um, accurate up to 75 metres. So it's, uh, it's, it's a lot more robust and I, I prefer it to the ACOG or the SUSA. Pieces of equipment like these laser rangefinders and these night vision devices have been available to British forces on operations for some time. But this uplift of kits of four rifles is the first time that a major unit has had a full complement of kit whilst not on operations. The new sights are a bit marked improvement on the SUSAT. You've got a clearer picture, so you get a better shot, you can see better where you're firing. I think the, the new sight gives a bit of a clearer picture of the, the target itself, which definitely helps. Um, but apart, apart from that, the guys are shooting just as they normally do, applying their marksmanship principles, so um, I'd, I'd definitely say it's a sight that's helping. The Soldier First suite of equipment is just the latest development in the technology that is available to our combat troops. Up until recently, though, the supply of such kit has been focused on operational requirements. However, this recent issue of equipment to four rifles shows that hopefully it won't be long before the whole of the UK armed forces are brought up to speed. James Banks, Forces News, Warminster.